Ta-da! Hello, kids! I love to draw and paint. Do you love to draw? Let's draw. What should we draw today? Hmm. I think I want to draw a shoe today. A flying shoe, not just a regular shoe, of course. Because nothing is regular in this channel. Because we have our imagination. And imagination is awesome. It's great. It develops our brains and it develops our motor skills. Like in this case, like when we're drawing. So, did you ever have a missing shoe? Like one of them missing? You have the other one, but you can't find the other one. Did you ever wonder where did that shoe go? Hmm, maybe it flew away. Maybe it ran away. Maybe, just maybe, it was getting some fresh air. Who knows, but our shoe is going to look good because we love drawing and everything we draw looks good to us and it doesn't matter even if it doesn't look good we love our drawings because drawing is fun and drawing is creative I'm gonna draw the shoelaces and my shoe looks like a sports shoe and yeah it makes sense a sports shoe can fly yeah right I mean, basketball players, they look like they're flying. Yeah, they really hang on air. And it's really incredible. So, my shoe is flying. And now I'm going to start coloring it. I think it looks good. What do you think, kids? Do you have a shoe that looks like this? I don't. I wish I had one. Maybe. Maybe someday I'll have a shoe that looks like this. Maybe I'll buy one for myself. Just because I really like this drawing. I mean, I know my shoe is not gonna be flying. That doesn't happen in the real world, you know. Just in my imagination and in drawings. But still, who knows? Maybe it will fly. How about, how about let's, yeah. Let's make a story about this shoe. Why does this shoe fly? I mean, how did it fly in the first place? Hmm. Do you have an explanation? You should. I mean, you're a kid. And kids have great imagination. Even better than grown-ups like me, you know? Kids, I envy you guys. I wish I had your imagination. But let me use mine and let's think why does this shoe fly? I think this shoe was a kind of like an old shoe. And it smelled bad at some point. <sighs> I mean... I can't stay in the same room with this shoe, you know what I mean? Kids, I mean, you know, yeah, this shoe was a smelly shoe. And, I mean, yeah, even if it's smelly, we like all shoes. Uh, who cares? But still, this shoe was so smelly, the owner rejected it. And he said, shoe, you're so stinky. And I don't want to wear you anymore. I mean, how are you so stinky? But... Our shoe was a really sensitive shoe and it said, I don't wanna, I don't wanna stay in this place anymore. I don't wanna stay in this house. I think I need to get some fresh air. Maybe I get rid of the stinky smell. So our shoe left the house heartbroken. But what can it do? It's an old shoe. Old shoes sometimes stink. And I mean, there's nothing we can do, so. But our shoe started its journey and somehow it got wings from somewhere. Who knows who gave this shoe the wings? Maybe, maybe a magician? Or maybe, just maybe, a fairy? A shoe fairy? A shoe magician? I don't know, but it got wings. And it started flying and flying and flying until the normal white fluffy clouds we see all the time in the sky disappears and he's in another place now. Maybe in another dimension. Maybe a dimension for the shoes. Or maybe another world. A world of shoes. Because it sees not clouds but footprints up in the sky. And they're all colorful. They're red, yellow, green and blue and all kinds of colors. 
and our shoe is happy now because it feels at home. That's where the old shoes go. They fly away to a different dimension, a shoe land which is covered with clouds made out of footprints. And for the last but not the least, I'm signing my drawing and putting a date under it. Hello, shoe! Fly away!